What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to add a share of the meep function for our Twitter clone app with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're going to add this little share icon and functionality to our app. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. It's on my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna add this little icon here that allows people to click on these individual tweets and go to a page that just shows that single tweet, just that one tweet. And then from there, you can share it or do whatever you want, link to it, whatever. So we need to set up a couple of different things, and that's what we're gonna do in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Django Twitter clone series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So we need to create several things here. We need to create a URL that we can click on. We need to create a separate page that shows each individual tweet. And we need to add a little link with an icon and all that good stuff. So that's what we'll do in this video. So let's head over to our urls.py file. And I'm just going to copy the last one here and create another one. And instead of this saying meep like, let's call this, I don't know, meep show, something like that. And we also want to pass in the integer of a private key. So we know which meep we're looking up, right? And then we want to view, let's call this meep, um, I don't know, meep show or meep share or something like that, right? And same thing here, let's give this a name of meep show or meep share, whatever you like. I'm gonna stick with show instead of share because we're showing it and then you could share it later if you want. So, okay, that looks good there. So now we need to create this meep underscore show view. So let's go ahead and copy this, save this file and go ahead and close this. And let's open our views.py. And I'm just gonna come down here to the end somewhere, any old where, and Let's define meep show. We want to pass in the request and we also want to pass in the primary key. That's PK. So the first thing we need to do is get the meep. So I'm just going to come up here and copy this guy so we know which meep to look up. So we're going to create a variable called meep that will hold the actual meep and we're going to get that object or 404. We uh, added this in the last video. If we come up here to the top right here in Django shortcuts, we added this get object or 404 thing last video or a couple of videos ago. That works there. And now we want to query our meep model and grab the meep with the ID of primary key that we're passing in through here that will ultimately pass in when we click the link. Uh, it'll show you know what meep we want to actually show when we click on that. So okay, so that'll get that. So now let's do some logic. Let's go if meep. And then down here, let's go else. So if this doesn't work, let's return a message. So for instance, if somebody somehow clicks on a meep that doesn't exist or has been deleted or whatever, uh, let's put a little message up that says that meep does not exist, dot, dot, dot. And then we just want to redirect them to the home page, right? Otherwise, let's come up here and find something that we can copy and paste. Here, this guy will work, All right? So let's come down here. And let's paste this in. Otherwise, so if there is a meep, if we try and look it up and we find it, then we want to render the request. Instead of register, let's call this uh, show underscore meep. We haven't created this page yet. We will in just a second. And let's pass in this meep, right? So let's come over here and type in meep. And then we want to pass in that meep so that we can show the meep on the page, right? So, all right, that looks good. I think it's Pretty much all we need there. Let's go ahead and save this. Now let's create this show underscore meep.html file. And we want to put this in templates. So let's right click new file and let's go file save as. And we want to save this as show underscore meep.html. And I'm just going to come to my home page here and kind of copy this whole thing and paste it in here. We need to tweak it a little bit because we're not looping through because we're not, we don't have many meeps, we just have one meep, so we don't need to loop through with a for loop. So I can get rid of that. And we can also come down here and get rid of that in for tag there. And if we look at the homepage real quick, just to sort of familiarize ourselves, we have this meep thing on the other side here, we don't really need that. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that off. That's down here at the bottom. I'll leave this column here in case we want to add something later on. Well, we can add, we can keep this whole thing here because there's an if statement, but really we could just kind of take all this out 
eh, we'll just leave it in there for now since it shouldn't show up because there is no form. And so we should be good to go there. But let's see, let's come up here. And is there anything else we really need? Well, I think we could pretty much keep all of this the same. Yeah, I think we could keep pretty much all of this the same. So let's go ahead and save this. Now let's come over to our home.html file and let's play around with this. Let's find the meep. Let's see. Here's the like section we did in the last video. And right after here, I'm just gonna type in test. Let's save this, head back over to the page and make sure we're in the right spot here. So yep, sure enough, there it says test. Not really sure why there's a little thing right there. Let's see what's going on there. Uh, da, 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 maybe get rid of that space. Go ahead and save this, see if that got rid of that little Okay, so I got rid of that, whatever that was. Now this says two likes, zero likes. I think maybe, maybe I'm gonna get rid of that likes thing right there. It's a little cluttered. So let's take out this likes thing. And yeah, let's go ahead and save this. So now it just says two heart or one heart. Okay, I think that's a little better, whatever. And now instead of test, we need a link that we can click on and show each of these individual meeps. Well, first of all, how do we know what meep is what? Well, each of these has an ID, if you remember back. So we could come up here and instead of test, we could just type in, uh, this is gonna be meep.id, right? So if we save this, head back over here, hit reload, we'll see, okay, this is meep number seven, this is six, five, four, three, two, and one, right? So we know which meep they are, we can pass that into the link and then use that to look up the meep and show it on its own page. So super easy, we could do that. Let's create a little link. So here, let's go a href equals. And for now, I'm just gonna say share. And inside of here, we just need a basic Django URL tag. So URL, we wanna point this to whatever we name this in our urls.py file. So let's head back over there real quick. And you remember, we just did that. We called it meep show. So we'll copy this, head over here, that's gonna be meep show. And we also wanna pass the meep.id, right? So, all right, let's go ahead and save this, see if that worked. Okay, so now it says share. Now this says Codemy meep for life. So if we click on this, boom, it goes to its own page where it shows Codemy meep for life. Uh, there's some empty space over here. Maybe you wanna stretch this tweet the whole length of the page, and eh, maybe not, I'll leave that for now. We might wanna add something on here later maybe like an ad or something, whatever. Uh, but here this says meeps, let's get rid of that real quick. Head back over to our show meet page and just right here at the top, let's get rid of that. Clean it up a little bit. Okay, there we go. So, all right, so that's looking good. Now let's get rid of this share thing and let's put a little icon. And now we used font awesome in the last video to add this heart. We can use font awesome again. Uh, what I did is I just Googled font awesome share and a little icon suggestion came up and that was, well, let's see, where's our homepage? Let me just copy this whole I thing here and come down here. And instead of typing share here, let me paste this in and let me kind of tab this over. So it's all on one line. Instead of FA heart, this is just gonna be FA share. And I don't really want it to be red. Let's make it gray, make it whatever color you want. Go ahead and save this, head back over here, boom. Now we have this cool little icon thing. We click on it, it goes there. All right, looking good. Now these are kind of scrunched together. We might want to put a little space between them or something. Uh, we could do that just with a little HTML tag. So and NBSP, I think. Yeah, there we go. Those are just spaces. So we could put a couple little spaces here, come back over here, click reload. All right, that looks maybe a little better, I don't know. And we could do the same thing right here instead of this space, maybe. You know, just kind of playing at this point. Let me copy these guys and come up here to, let's see, this guy, get rid of him, maybe. Save this, head back over here, hit reload. I don't know, maybe that looks good. Whatever, play around with it. And we're looking pretty good. Now, if we go to our My Profile page, we need to do the same thing. So. I'm just gonna come up here to our home page here and I'm gonna copy this stuff. 
And then let's come over to our profile.html page, scroll down to the like section right underneath it, bop that on there, save this piece of cake, head back over here, click on my profile. All right, now we got it on the profile pages as well. If we go to our profile list and like click on Bob, it's on Bob's as well. So it's on our profiles, it's on everybody's profile. We click here, boom, my name is Bob. And now we could just copy this and share it with somebody. Or we could put a little icon at the bottom to, you know, click here to share and a box pops up and we give them a little link code or something. I'll leave that to you. It's kind of trivial. Uh, but yeah, so now we can have individual pages for each tweet, which I think is probably a good idea. And we are moving right along. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codeb.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So it's access to all my courses, almost 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 160,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codeb.com, and I'll see you in the next video.